boys sitting on the slope that side they didn't know what to do some said hmm again boys all boys are looking at swami only go get into the car to all of you i want to share how swami is beyond time in the ashtotram we say kalaaya namaha kala kalaaya namaha kala atithaaya namaha living with swami for so many years he has shown that aspect and that experience also i enjoyed with swami <coughs> one day in the morning darshan time very pious noble very humble devotee from italy he had come for swami's darshan and when swami came and walking uh, between the boys those days the darshan first swami will come to the gen side then go to the ladies side and then enter the entry room it used to be that way and this gentleman got up and said swami swami is very happy blessed him and all that then he said swami please swami I brought a gift for you, sir. What gift? What gift? Sir Swami, I brought the latest Benz car for you, Swami. Car? Why car? No, Swami. Please, Swami, accept it, Swami, as a mark of love, Swami. I brought it all the way from Italy, Swami. I shipped it. All that he was telling. Why car? I am having so many cars here. I am not fond of cars. Why so many cars? I am comfortable with whatever I am having. Swami is trying to convince him, but uh, he was very adamant. he said swami please swami please swami and swami you know okay okay like that swami used to brush him aside and then go away. this continued for almost 5 6 days then one day you know if your if your prayers will be answered you know these are all the things which sitting in the portico we observe between god and devotee the more fervent the more consistent the more intense that your prayer even if god has no choice other than accepting and uh, you know Uh, blessing you for the prayer that you are offering so that day again he said swami please swami you are kneeling swami please swami please we were feeling very bad that every day this gentleman used to plead swami and swami used to just brush him aside and go back that day swami told ah where is the car swami outside i'll keep it outside okay so that car shed used to be there swami's car all the cars will be parked there only so he brought it and kept it on the in front of the swami is uh, that car shed and then swami sent word for one gentleman by name radha krishna who is also a ex student and he used to stay with swami and look after swami every day daily needs and he used to drive swami you know excellent driver also <clears throat> so swami called him uh, radha krishna uh, he has got some new car uh, to make him happy let us go for a ride and come he said yes swami and then swami gave that key swami uh, radha krishna took that key and went and swami saw it was a green color benz car then swami stood there looked at the car looked at the boys and then suddenly swami said hm mm. uh, boys sitting on the slope that side they didn't know what to do swami said hm mm. again boys all boys are looking at swami only go get into the car my god after that you must see guys rushing some 10 15 boys rushing into the car and then swami went to the other side they kept a small place for swami to sit behind four boys two boys will sit on their lap two boys will be there in front one boy will sit on his lap one boy will sit so six boys will be seated and a small place for am um, swami also so cute he just enters the car adjust whatever the place that is available and allow the uh, volunteer to close the door and then the car started 
all the devotees know it was uh, it's a beautiful sight to watch that where people crave to see swami to talk to swami to touch swami and here swami giving a chance of boys you know gushing into the car not one to a mob and he is also adjusting with the mob and then the car starts 15 minutes over car came back we were all waiting for swami to come back when car came back car was totally empty swami got down and that said driver got down nobody was there then swami looked at us and then oh you are thinking where are the boys then we were all laughing and looking at swami anyway in another 5 minutes you also have to go to college it is college time now so therefore i thought i went for a round and your college is in ishramba school i dropped them near the ishramba school and came back so why should they come back again walk back so i left them there only swami told then all laughed and that day was over and the boys you know they were all very happy that they got a chance the next day morning again swami came swami radhakrishna and he comes and the car is there and uh, swami came to the slope he mm, did now that um is very clear for all the boys what exactly we need to do again 10 15 boys they rushed and this continued second day third day fourth day i felt i was a fool sitting there laughing participating in the joke and the fun but i am not participating in along with the other boys to get into the car that that part i was not doing but i was enjoying then my conscious telling what type of fellow you are all the boys are trying some of them are getting two chance three chance but whereas you are simply sitting and laughing you are not want to you don't want to take the chance so my mind start to working i said okay come on today i should do whatever it is today i must try so i also maintain the best part is all the boys generally they will be seated in the first opposite to the entry room door first second third row they will rush do you know why among boys no we used to have the sentimental value the day when god opens the door if his vision falls on me i'll be the first devotee if his vision falls on me that day is a jubilant golden day for me you know that was the crazy idea of some of the few boys there we used to have a even in brindavan when we studied no we used to have this code called mba we had mba course even before our university started Do you know what is the MBA course? Madhura Bhakti Association MBA course. So we were there are some group of boys already doing MBA practicals only. Every day it is practicals. Now third day onwards, nobody is willing to sit in front of the interview room door. When Swami opens the door, boys are not there because boys are all keenly observing the car and not Swami. Their whole vision is diverted. Okay, fine. Then Swami also understood. Fourth day, I have decided. Come, but me, I will try. So I also sat. Swami came. Mm. But boys won't look at Swami also. They will only because that fraction of a second, it's like a running race, you know. That second also makes a difference. Mm. Means run. I also started running. In the process, some boys will slip and fall because sand. Some will fall. Some all that. Swami will enjoy the joke. Devotees will clap and laugh every day morning. This a uh, live joke. I ran, but. i could not even touch the car the reason is they had four days experience and this my first day experience so i didn't know what to do so as usual some boys will come back i also joined them and came back and sat next day i decided see this type of discipline discipline because i used to feel that swami will feel upset if you are not following discipline if you are you know like that that kind of feeling other then i thought okay you should be unruly when it is needed and swami is giving you license to be unruly come on do it push or uh, kick car anybody the objective is to be inside the car so next time very serious i thought if anybody comes in my way i'll kick them push them you know and i want to be inside the car e hey! sixth day yes i'm running i pushed and finally i managed to enter the car meanwhile driver sat driver drove close the front side Swami also came. The other side sat. That that door is also closed. Only my side, behind the driver, that door is not able to close. And Seva was telling, "Go inside. Go inside. Where go inside? My left hand is inside. 
my left leg is inside the car my half body is inside the car my head is inside the car my right hand my right leg is outside hey please yeah please yeah make some place yeah i'm begging oh yeah no place yeah no place yeah. hey come on, adjust yeah a little bit my leg if it comes you can close the door yeah please yeah please yeah i'm telling where you are where you are already four boys are sitting and there is no place and meanwhile no car is not starting swami is asking what happened then i'm requesting hey please yeah please yeah then swami understood the whole situation swami looked at me with a smile he just gave me one statement oh place leda ipudu dige unko thuri pilchukelta now you get down i will take you another day who told me swami it is not boys or anyone swami told me what he told me you get down now i will take you another day so i thought if swami himself telling tomorrow i'll be like a vip i'll be called so with that i myself got down i myself closed the door i was a soul fellow came from the car back to the pavilion here i came back so next day like a gentleman i am sitting thinking that first swami will tell me hey you go and then the boys will rush so i was ready as usual swami came mm, everybody ran i was sitting like that only swami looked at me smiled and went out then i thought what is this here swami said he will take me i thought swami will tell me and swami didn't tell me and car went up so i lost hope i think maybe swami just to make me happy in that situation might have you know told you get down man one day i will take you get down like that he must have pacified me like a fool i understood that next day like royal treatment i will get there is this other way of treatment i am not get i am getting so finally i got down and one more day after that there is something wrong with the car engine problem so the car has to go back to base italy for servicing or whatever it is so 7 days over the program cancelled over then i thought okay fine i missed the bus and i forgot about it this happened 1980 i finished my bcom i finished my mcom and uh, i applied for a phd and meanwhile there was a vacancy in higher secondary school and they wanted me to teach in the higher secondary school they went and prayed swami swami if this boy can be given chance to teach in the school it will be very nice and then uh, finally lot of debate and this and that and and then one day morning swami said re higher secondary school la velli upanyasam isthava he told i said swami whatever you say i will do No, 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 no. Because Swami knows that I also applied for PhD. No, no, no. What is your wish? I said, Swami, I have no wish. Whatever you say, I will do. I have nothing in my mind, Swami. I know, I know. And then Swami called Habu, and then told that Monday is a good day. Seven thirty-nine, Rao Kalam. Nine fifteen, he will come there. You give him the book, show him the classroom. No interview, interview anything. He will straight away start teaching. He said. he said yes swami back they desperately wanted somebody to teach their commerce so that is how i just directly from bajan hall went to my classroom i started teaching in the higher secondary school commerce management and statistics that year 84 85 one of my colleague he became very sick and doctors told that he must have bread and the milk or coffee we have those years we have only one bakery opposite the ganesh gate ganesh bakery sai ganesh bakery that malayali family used to that's the only bakery available those days he was the only guy who will make bun bread biscuits rusk all that and they used to supply to hostel also so after my first period second period during the interval i took other colleagues cycle cycle went to the bakery i picked up a milk packet and i picked up a, what do you call bread and all that then i was coming the previous day it rained heavily and in front of the primary school you have that arch and primary school sand and all had come to the road and there the road used to be very steep those days now road on road the level has come up unfortunately my left knee touched the handbar immediately like steering wheel the handbar started rotating and then like hanuman i am having bread and uh, you know coffee all these things and i am running and flying and falling on the road behind me the cycle is tumbling and coming towards me 
and hammered on my pedal hammered on my leg. Do you know where I fell? Exactly between the primary school gate and this side our college gate. From the, you can imagine the distance, that speed I was coming and this, that speed I flew and fell down. The moment I fell down, I felt very ashamed. If somebody sees me, it will be very bad. Luckily, no traffic those days. Just got up, then I saw if anything happened to me and I could see my own bone, white color. Next second, the blood was gushing out. That's all. After that, I didn't know. That was the last scene I remember. When I opened my eyes, I was already in the hospital, big bandage, Aldrija was there, some two, three doctors were there. I asked what happened. Aldrija was telling, no, nothing happened. Just a hairline fracture, ligament rupture, and we put the bandage. Swami will butcher me if Swami knows that I was, I was riding cycle and fell down during the working hours. Did you tell Swami? Yeah, yeah. I already told Swami. Here, Swami gave you the packet also for you and Swami told, take rest. My God, you already told Swami also. No, we have to inform Swami, no. So I said, finish. These people already set fire. Then, after two days, they shifted me to hostel. Those days, 9.30, 10 bhajan. And Swami Phil will finish his lunch, sit in the car and take one round. Opposite to our senior boys hostel, now we have international stadium. It used to be a mango grove and that is the residence for Sai Gita. Sai Gita gate and our hostel gate will be opposite to each other. And Swami comes, bless Sai Gita take one round till Enumanapalli circle and then come back. That was Swami's once in a while Swami used to do. So I was there, our Mr. Venkatachalam and Mr. Surinarayana. These two people used to help me and put a chair on the road near the gate and uh, taking their shoulder help, I used to come and sit there. Uh, that side Sai Gita and this side me. And Swami will push the glass down. He will bless the Sai Gita the other side and this side he will talk to me. And uh, you know, Vankata Chalam, Surena, they also used to get good chance, namaskar, all that. This used to happen in a week at least three to four times. So I, I can't go to Mandir, but Swami, every day morning I am getting darshan here. One Krishna Janmashtami day, this is almost a month over, say it's maybe three, four weeks over, I was slowly recovering. And Swami, that day morning, Tomorrow is Krishna Janmashtami, why don't you come to Mandir? Nice program will be there. I said, yes, Swami. Then, next day, we used to have cycle rickshaw. Those days, no auto rickshaw, cycle rickshaw. With the cycle rickshaw, I went, they dropped me, and I sat as usual, my place inside the bhajan hall, stretched my legs and sat, because I can't fold my leg. All the boys, everybody is outside. Sai Gita, cow procession, dance. That time from Hyderabad, big group came. They did peacock dance, all that they did. A fantastic uh, uh, event on that day. And Swami said, I will put a chair, sit on the chair. I said, no Swami, no Swami, I will stand and see. So I stood near the pillar and I was watching everything. All over, Swami went, blessed Sai Gita, cows, and then took Arati, procession went back. And those days, now every year the tradition is, after the morning function in Mandir, Swami will have his lunch and go to Gokulam and bless the rest of the cows and the families, those who are working all through the year. No? Swami will go bless them, give them namaskar and come back. Very religiously Swami used to do that every year. So I know that Swami is going to come out and all the boys left and boys will be standing waiting on the road for Swami's Extra darshan. I thought instead of standing outside, I can stay there only. I can have Swami's darshan there. I, and I sat near the bhajan. Then after 20-25 minutes, door opens. Swami came out. He, Swami sitting there. Yemra, pole da. He asked. No, Swami, I will go. Then Swami said, how will you go? I said, Swami, a rickshaw fellow is there. He will come and I will go in rickshaw. Why Riksha? Come, get into my car. And Swami told those, Kaildas and other people, Sevadal. They helped me and I was jumping, jumping, jumping and going in the top portico and Swami was walking behind me. And there, Swami first saw to it that I sat. Then in front one VIP sat 
and then Radha Krishna's hat, that was red Ben's car. And Swami came and sat next to me. Door closed. The moment door closed, pin drop silence. Nothing you can hear inside the car. Beautiful aroma. Silence. Cool breeze. And you are with the divine. I'm telling you. That is an amazing feeling. That feeling no words to express, but you just have to be there. And when I close my eyes, I, I recollect that beautiful moment. And the car moves in silence. Thousands of faces praying Swami with various expressions. Some with uh, fear, some with love, some with happiness, some with some query, something they are praying. Different expressions, but everybody surrendered to the Lord inside the car and Swami is blessing and reassuring everybody and reciprocating according to their prayers. I watch this amazing feeling and there is nobody other than me and Swami in the car. Swami said, first go to Gokulam. We had a long drive, went to the Gokulam. Swami got down and said, sit inside the car, I will come in five minutes. Only Swami went. Radha Krishna and myself stayed back. Swami and the other people in the Gokulam and that VIP went. After 10 minutes, Swami took Arati and Swami came back. Again, Swami sat in the car. Then again came back to our hostel, entered the hostel gate, came to the portico and then Swami said, get down now. Then meanwhile, all the boys, Swami, Swami, please come inside hostel, Swami. Swami, please come inside, Swami. Come, Swami, come, Swami. Swami said, no, 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 no. I came to drop this boy. I am not coming to your hostel. Please come, Swami. How can you say, please come to Swami? Who is the in charge of hostel? Warden. Your warden never invited me. And he is standing there only. Your warden never invited me. Without warden inviting, if you call, I will come. Immediately warden, Swami, Swami, please come, Swami, please, Swami. No, 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 no. That is not the procedure. No, no, no. Not like that. Not like that. And then me, sitting in the car, Swami, please come. Swami. Hey, shut up. I came to drop, get out now, Swami, you know, with stern voice, he said. I said, okay, then slowly I got down, I got on the car, then the car moved out, I went to my room. All the boys, you know, they are very happy that, you know, you got a fantastic chance, man. When I sat in my room, when I was thinking, that time it flashed in my mind, his word. In 1980, 1980, he told, you get down now, I will take you another day. You get down now, I will take you another day. That another day, when, where, how, you are nobody to question, but it didn't happen. As a devotee of Baba, Baba words will never ever fail. Being a loyal devotee, you must trust and just patiently wait and it all will blossom. He knows which is the right time, which is the correct way or correct method. When you deserve the most, even unasked, it will be just dumped on you. That is the divine love. That is what I still uh, never forget that uh, moment where from where he created a scene and it came from his mouth and I forgot about the whole thing. Even if I forget, God never forgets. That is why Swami says, no, Satya is my prachar. Whatever I speak, it is always truth. In one day in Portugal, somebody says, Swami, you always speak truth. One VIP said, Swami looked at him sternly. I said, what? Swami, you always speak truth. I said, no. Whatever I speak is the truth, Swami said. Whatever I speak is the truth. It is not that whatever I, I always speak truth. No. Whatever I say, this is Trikala Satyam. You may appreciate, you may not appreciate. You may understand, you may not understand. But that is your limited understanding. But God is beyond time, beyond space. Everything, everything is in his hand. He can do wonders. Then I understood that. Swami always says, past is past. 
forget the past. Live in present. Because in the present, you have future. In the present, if you do the best, you can create future. But thinking of future, brooding over past, you are killing the present, which is not correct. That is why Swami calls it omnipresent. Because in the present, past is also there. Your future is also there and enjoy the present. I think that is what I learned. That Swami and Swami's word is not different. Is one of the same. And for you and me to appreciate that, to understand that, wait. Time is the answer. Because God is time.